Thank you, Dirk. As some of you may know, my name is Andy Saylor. I think Dirk got that part out of the way already. Uh, but I'm also, you know, that, that guy that did the operating systems YouTube videos and fixes all the broken virtual machines, among other things. Today, though, I stand before you as a fellow graduate of the Department of Computer Science. Now, I must warn you, I was not given very much guidance regarding what to speak about today, which I guess when you think about it, makes this a pretty good analogy for the so-called real world we're about to enter. Allow me to be one of the first to welcome you, where we can no longer rely on others to uh, spell out in great detail what they'd like for us to do. Good luck. I would also like to note that I'm a bit of a strange choice for a graduation speaker. After all, I'm a little bit like the Puxatani Phil of higher education. I came out of undergrad, saw my first rent hills, and well, five more years of grad school. <laughs> that makes this kind of like asking Mick Jagger to give a speech on how to retire from rock and roll. If you didn't get that, it's okay, it was for your parents. <laughs> but since I've been afforded the privilege of speaking to you today, I'd like to commend everyone on their accomplishments over the last four five, or in the case of some of my fellow graduate students, 15 years, uh, pursuing their grad degrees here at CU. Congratulations to everyone here today. The degrees you're being awarded are certainly well earned, and will surely serve you well in the future. You've joined the department during a time of unprecedented growth, and have excelled to yield the largest graduating class this department has ever produced. This is especially impressive given the youthfulness of computer science as a field. We are likely unique across all of the graduation ceremonies taking place today in that we have individuals in this room that are older than our entire discipline. And I say that not to imply that anyone here is old, but merely to point out how young our discipline really is. <laughs> Computer science as a field has really only been around for the last 60 years or so, and our department isn't even 50. This fact presents numerous opportunities that our peers in other fields will not be afforded. Chief amongst these is the opportunity to interact with the founders of our discipline. We are fortunate to have many such individuals still alive, and in some cases, still working in our field. If I am to impart a single suggestion to you today, it would be to strive to exploit this fact. We are as physicists in the age of Newton, or astronomers in the age of Galileo. Take full advantage of this, and endeavor to meet, work with, and learn from those who have paved the road we now walk. It is a rare opportunity that we have, and we will be some of the last computer scientists ever recorded it. So that's the first bit of potential wisdom I have for you, but here is the second. If ever presented with an opportunity to speak to a large captive audience at length, seize it. Doing so affords you one of those rare forms where uh, the audience is more or less compelled by common politeness to listen to what you have to say. I'll also point out that the challenge of accessing smartphones in these rogues only adds to the novelty of the situation. <laughs> and since I have followed my own advice and accepted this invitation to speak, permit me a moment of moralizing. We are fortunate to work in a field that society, for better or worse, values quite highly. And indeed, I sincerely hope that this valuation brings you and your loved ones great prosperity. We must not take such an investment for granted. The value society has placed in our skills requires that we too seek to return value to society. Through computer science, we have the potential to bring great benefits to the world, but we also run the risk of doing great harm. It is not inconceivable that the work we do to increase efficiency through the automation of day-to-day -day tasks will have a hand in the elimination of a large number of existing jobs, likely exacerbating issues of economic inequality that our society already faces. The work we do connecting the world via the internet has heralded an unprecedented, unprecedented age of human communication. But it also raises numerous privacy challenges as governments and corporations alike seek to surveil the ways in which we speak. Self-driving vehicles have promising environmental and safety benefits, but these systems will be required to make life and death decisions dictated by the code we craft. These are not challenges to be taken lightly nor are they ones we can afford to kick down the road for others to solve. These are challenges that will not be solved by the talking heads on the evening news, nor in the uh, comment threads of the internet. It is our duty as computer scientists and as humans to ensure that we work to minimize and offset any harms that may come from the goods we seek to provide. We have all been afforded a great privilege to have been able to obtain the degrees we now hold. We must apply that privilege in the highest manner that we can. Having had the opportunity to know many of you during my time here, I have no doubt that each and every one of you can rise to meet these challenges and will resolve them in a manner befitting of the degrees you now hold. 
If you are able, volunteer some of your time to support the work of worthy organizations who otherwise might not be able to afford your talent. Endeavor to ensure that others are afforded the same privileges we have had, perhaps by teaching or mentoring those interested in our work, or by donating to educational institutions such as ours. And in everything you do, be conscious of the ethical ramifications of our work, and have the courage to speak up if you feel errors of judgment are being made. Society values us and our skills very highly, and we must endeavor to return the favor. So with that parting thought, congratulations on your accomplishments, best of luck in your future endeavors, and thank you for your time.